the attention to detail. It's what defines a valued quality product. The human touch was once expected in society, yet today it's a luxury. And that's what this is, an institution with almost 100 years of history and with an enduring vision which values performance and innovation just as much as luxury. It's the perfect harmony of modern systems and technology interacting with generations of human skill. This is a look at how a legendary brand continues its life into the next century. This is Inside Bentley. This is the engine marriage. Now this is the, one of the main assembly areas for the vehicle. Uh, it's where the engine and the drive line and the suspension meet the body. Uh, we mount the engine from the underside. It is a significant block. It is a V8. It is six and three quarter litres. It develops over 500 horsepower and 1,000 newton metres of torque. You also have the W12 at your disposal. Why was the V8 chosen for the, for the flagship? We chose the V8 for this particular car because it has a very characteristic delivery of power and torque. It is a very slow revving engine, but the torque delivery is at very low speed. So when you drive the car, it gives that wall of torque impression. So it's a very relaxed, but very powerful, very torquey engine. And our customers really love this. So here we've, we've got the marriage again. And um, you know, it's not much different than many other uh, production lines, to say the least. The principles are very similar. Okay. Um, we mount this engine from the underside, purely due to the sheer bulk of the engine and the design of the body itself. Um, and also, what we can do, you can see we have the front suspension, the prop shaft and the rear suspension. We can reassemble all of those and make them all absolutely you know, perfectly matched, ready to fit to the body. We, we start with a, basically a body in white, uh, the panels, the nuts, the bolts, the washers come together, we build the body in white. We then put that through our bespoke paint facility. We then start the assembly on this assembly line. And when we get to this stage, it's really where the car really starts to form itself. So with the engine and drive line fitted, then you can start to see, you can actually see a drivable vehicle from this point forward. Cool. That's uh, a sign of the next stage, I assume, right? Yes. So what are we going to see happen here? And, and, you know... So what we'll see here, we've, we've essentially delivered the engine assembly uh, onto the front uh, subframe. The engine already has been engine tested, so each part has been individually te tested. It'll be power tested, it'll be uh, making sure all the components are working properly. We'll then mount that onto the subframe, again dimensional checks, make sure that the assembly is correct and yep. to the right process. So the, the subframe is not built here, it's coming from just you know, 100 yards away? Essentially, yes. Okay. So the, the, the engine is built, tested, then mounted to the subframe in the subframe and engine assembly, engine assembly shop. It is brought into this area, mounted onto this build fixture. Then obviously we put the prop shaft into position and the same with the rear suspension, again built into the uh, body at this stage, but assembled in the pre-assembly shop. So as you said, so this is actually a whole platform that lifts itself. Yes. And we've got the most on that comes in. You know, when we talk about Bentleys in, as a whole, they're, they're handcrafted, but there is still some assistance with machinery. So. There has to be, there has to be. Um, we use robotics, for example, for repeat processes, and of course, we need assist machinery. You know, these are really heavy components. Yeah. You know, this engine weighs over 600 kilos, so it's a significant uh, piece of kit. So we'll make sure that this, this equipment is to obviously assist the people building the car, but more importantly, to make sure the process is repeatable. So the dimensional controls on this to make sure that every built, every car is built exactly the same. We're seeing the chassis come down. I love, by the way, I love the fact that you've got the protective 
panels everywhere. <laughs> Again, attention to details. Again, that is to protect the vehicle. Uh, obviously, at this stage, we've got fully paint. We've got, you know, important parts on the car. It's important that they are protected. Everybody takes due care and attention, but there can be issues where we just need to make sure, you know, everything's covered. The body now is put in position. It'll be locked in position. What the guys are doing now is they're now just connecting up all of the harnesses. So you can see the engine management, east, the engine management system, the harnesses for there at the front. You'll see them now start to locate all of the key components dimensionally. On the rear, exactly the same, the locking pins will go into place. Those rear suspension elements will be aligned to the body with these pins. And that just makes sure that when the, when the suspension goes up, it is fully lined up. You know, this, this drive line has to be literally within plus or minus two millimetres. So it's a very accurate process. The drive line and rear, front and rear suspension with the engine now are being offered up to the body. The guys are now aligning all of the key critical components, so they're making sure that all the location pins are being aligned up. There'll be final adjustments. You can see now the final adjustment as the body's been put in position. These, have to, these are very important stages now because it's the final alignment of all the, the pins, locate everything, making sure that all of the connections are going to be in place. You can see the front suspension there, the wishbones ready to go. And from the rear, exactly the same, the air springs and all the rear components.